good and salam you attend the article. First of all, what is Islamic finance? Islamic finance is banking or finance activity based on Shia compliance, which apply to Islamic economy development. So besides that, now there's a lot of the bank using the Islamic compliance such as RHB Bank, May Bank and Public Bank and many more. So through this uh, Islamic finance, judging on the data that indicate forty uh, percent of the total finance will reach by the year of two thousand and twenty. So today we're gonna talk about the development of Islamic finance in the year 2001 until 2015. So first of all, we're gonna talk about the development of Islamic finance in 2001 until 2005 by our group mates, that is Benjamin. So let's hear what he can say about the development. So let's go. Hello. This is for Islamic finance development in Malaysia for the year 2000. During this year, there was an establishment of Association of Islamic Banking Institutions of Malaysia, which is also stand for AIBIM. This is for Islamic finance development in Malaysia for the year 2001. There was an set up of Malaysian Accounting Standard Board I on presentation on financial statement of Islamic finance. On this year also, financial sector master plan stand for FSMB being launched with specific recommendations of IBF which is International Banking Facilities. This is for the year 2000. On this year, Islamic Finance Services was established. On this year also, Bank Rakyat being announced as the Malaysia's third full-fledged Islamic cooperative bank after being in operation for more than 48 years. This is for Islamic Finance Development in Malaysia for the year 2003. On this year, there was an issuance of license to three foreign banks. On 2004, Bank Negara Malaysia or BNM allows foreign Islamic bank to operate in Malaysia. Based on that, the guidelines on the governance of Sharia Committee for the Islamic Financial Institutions known as BNM Stroke GPS 1. Thank you very much Benjamin for explaining the development of Islamic finance in Malaysia from the year of 2001 until 2005. So based on your hearing just now, the info is quite useful and very interesting. Right? So what about uh, the next development of Islamic finance after the year of 2005. So next, uh, we'll listen the explanation of the development of Islamic finance in 2006 until 2015 by Surya. So let's we'll hear what she can tell us, the information that he obtained and explain to us the development of Islamic finance in Malaysia from the year of 2006 until 2015. So let's go guys, very interesting. Assalamualaikum, I'm Surya Shafida binti Zalani. Okay, I will explain the development of uh, Malaysia Islamic finance from 2006 until 2015. Okay. In 2006, the launching of MIFC. MIFC is stand for Malaysia International Islamic Financial Center. <coughs> okay, MIFC is an uh, initiative of Malaysia Financial market regulator and relevant government agency dedicated to develop Malaysia Islamic finance market by engaging in, in with industry and government. 
Next, we move to 2007. 2007 is financial liberation of the Islamic banking was uh, banking sector was produced. <coughs> then, in 2010, uh, Islamic banking asset reached uh, USD 72.5. And then in 2013, New Islamic Financial Service Act IFSA was enacted. And then in 2005, uh, there are seven Islamic financial institution was produced, which is Bank Islam, Bank Muamalat, Afid Islamic Holyong, Bank Islamic Bank CIMB, Islamic RHB, Islamic Bank, and M Bank. That's all uh, the development of Islamic finance in Malaysia from 2006 until 2015. That's all. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Surya, for explaining the development of Islamic finance in Malaysia in the year of 2006 until 2015. So that's all is for the development of Islamic finance in Malaysia from the year of 2001 until 2015. So. I would like to take the behalf of my group mates uh, to thank to our lecturer, Dr. Azawati, for the guidance through this assignment. And I would like to say thank you for all of you to watch this video and give a like, share it. So, my name is Azan Azni bin Ahmad Assalamualaikum and goodbye.